Hey everybody, my name is Alex Kazor. I'm currently a sophomore here at Clarion University and I'm the remote coordinator for CUTV. And basically what a remote is essentially taking some of the equipment you say, see here along with some other equipment um, on location to sporting events, be it at the football stadium or at Tippin Gymnasium where they have basketball, volleyball games, things like that. Today we'll go through a brief run through of some of the basic equipment we have in its functions and just a, a quick setup. Uh, this is the TriCaster, uh, it's made by New Tech. This is a TriCaster Studio. There's a, a variety of different models, some low end ones like the TriCaster 40 into the higher end ones like the TriCaster 8000. Um, this is our TriCaster Studio that we use. It has a six channel feed so you can get up to six uh, cameras hooked up to it if you so choose. We can get really max of five because we use the six for our DVD player. Um, it's a really nice tool. It's a truck in a box. It's easy to move around and it does really produce some really high quality stuff so I've been very pleased with it. But enough about that. Just some basic functions of how to set things up. We'll walk around here to the front. Basically we have our video monitor box here that is our snake that has a bunch of video cables and they get uh, they're labeled uh, according to number and then you move them you put them into Y composite based on numbers so this one says output number three you would plug it in and output number three that's how you get your signal sent from your camera so if I had a camera here into the TriCaster now to also get it to your monitor uh, very simple obviously you have your monitor plugged in and then you have a plug in the back that hooks into the, that screws into the back of the TriCaster and that's essentially how you send your signal from uh, the TriCaster to the monitor so you can get your picture on screen. Now that we've talked about video, we can talk about audio now as well. Uh, TriCaster gives you two options, audio in and audio out. We'll talk about audio out uh, here briefly, very simple to do. You have your uh, audio out jack and you simply can plug it in where it says audio out and make sure it matches up left and right. And I don't have an internal mixer or an external mixer with me, but if you did, you could plug an XLR cable into one of the channels to get your audio. There are different specific ways of how to set up your TriCaster depending on model and personal preference, but this is a general overview of how to set it up.